There we go, YouTube's on. Hello! Today we are making two ingredient dough. This recipe is in our Dieting on a Dime cookbook. Volume 2, 25% off right now. The recipes we are making start on page 102. Two ingredient dough, two ingredient dough cinnamon rolls, two ingredient dough pizza, two ingredient dough pretzel bites, two ingredient dough breadsticks, two ingredient dough bagels, two ingredient dough garlic cheddar rolls, and two ingredient dough non bread. Ooh, the non bread. Wow. Yes. So that is what we are making today. Now, this two ingredient dough recipe all over the internet, it's a classic. People have been making this for decades. It's so simple, so, so simple. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're going to take your self-rising flour and Greek yogurt. That's it. It's two ingredients, self-rising flour and yogurt. Now, I'm making a double batch because I'm going to do several recipes. Now, here's the thing about self-rising flour. I hate to say this, but stop buying self-rising flour. <laughs> Guys, self-rising flour is three times the cost of regular flour. But do you know what self-rising flour is? All it is is flour, baking powder, and salt. That's all it is. So I never ever make self-rising flour because frankly it's a waste of money. Um, if you, uh, what was I gonna say? It also spoils quicker because the baking powder will go bad faster. So it will last longer if you don't buy self-rising flour. Now, I know a lot of people like it and that's fine. If you buy it, it's, you know, whatever. But just realize that it does cost three times the amount of money than adding your own baking powder and salt to the recipe, okay? Now, you don't need to sift the flour. You can if you want to, but for me, I just take a whisk and just gently stir in, not stir, well yeah, I guess I am stirring in, but gently fluff your flour so that air gets in there and it is fluffier, okay? Now, I am making a double batch of this <clears throat> because I'm going to be showing you how to make several different things with this. Now let me get my oven started here. All right, stirring up my yogurt. No, I don't normally buy organic yogurt, but this was on clearance, so that's why I bought it, because it was cheaper. Okay, measuring out my yogurt. <clears throat> and, whoops, I forgot my extra two tablespoons of flour, so I'll need to add that in there. So, self-rising flour and yogurt. That's all it is. Now you can use non-fat or regular yogurt. You can use flavored yogurts if you're making something like the cinnamon rolls, like strawberry yogurt, peach yogurt. That would be really yummy with the cinnamon rolls. The Greek yogurt, oh dear. Improvise. Okay, we'll just keep going on and hope this works. I just realized I pulled the wrong yogurt out of the refrigerator. You need to get to the but apple. that's okay. We're just going to adapt and nope, it's okay. I ain't making new. All right, so we are, 
I forgot my two tablespoons of flour. Okay, we're just gonna see if we can get this to work. I think it will. It's too late now, thank you, dear. I ain't gonna throw away two cups of flour. <laughs> okay, now I just threw myself totally off. What did you forget? <laughs> okay. Guys, how many cups of flour did I put in here? Oh my goodness. Okay, everyone, anybody... type in real quick in the comments how many cups of flour did you see Tar put in? We're going to see. Okay. Take a take it. And Jeanette Tar is channeling Pop Minnie Pearl today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we'll just see how this mixes up. All right, so then we're going to knead in your yogurt until you come to a smooth ball. Now if it's too dry, add just like two extra tablespoons of yogurt. If it's too wet, just add a couple of tablespoons of flour. It just depends on where you're at, okay? Now, mine's acting a little dry. That's why I'm wondering, did I put three? Uh oh. Oh my goodness. I cannot remember if I Ted, was counting right because. Cut? Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more yogurt because. Oh, oh, oh my. Maybe it was four. <laughs> did I add four? Like, oh, two. I, some say two, some say I think four. Oh my. Well, I'm thinking I put four in there. Two from the bag and then two from the container. Oh, we don't have. I'm like, this is not two cups of flour. This looks like four cups of flour. <laughs> Do you want me to get that other yogurt out of there? Yes, because I don't have enough yogurt now. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. How much yogurt do you need? <clears throat> okay. I don't know, but we're just going to keep going. I'm like, this has got to be more than two cups of flour. What did I do? Okay, let's see. Let's just dump in and see how much yogurt we have. <laughs> That's how new well, things are guys. Nancy said you said you doubled the recipe. Yeah, but I didn't. I quadrupled the recipe. <laughs> because I'm having a, lot a moment. All right, so let's see. I already put in a couple more tablespoons, and there's one cup, so now I need one more cup of yogurt. Guys, this recipe is so stinking simple that only Tara would mess it up. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, I knew that was way, way, way too thick. Maybe we should just stop the show and start over again. Would that be good? No, maybe we should just stop the show. Okay, now we're going to have so many cinnamon rolls and pretzel bites. Oh boy. And non bread. Adventures with Tara. <laughs> yes. Okay, now that's acting like way too much yogurt. Only I could screw up two ingredient dough. Well, is there still more yogurt left? You want to just start a new batch? <laughs> Okay, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Let me pan the camera back up and then let me fade to black and let me fade it up real quick. <coughs> that was there you go. This is the first time, okay? We can cut straight to here on the video. Improvise, adapt, overcome. <laughs> here, why don't you hand me that one and you start a new one to this? All right. Do I need to get the recipe out? Let's. <laughs> You need to follow the recipes. I've heard some lady on the internet say that. It's <laughs> All right. Okay, so. What's my excuse? It says one cup plus two tablespoons <clears throat> flour and one cup of yogurt. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm doubling the recipe and not quadrupling the recipe this time. Okay? Do you have two cups of yogurt available? It's not two cups of yogurt, it's one cup of yogurt. It's one cup, but if you're doubling it, 
Oh Come yeah. Two cups. Yeah. I have no idea if I have two cups of yogurt. See, Mike's paying attention. <laughs> What can I say? Only I can screw up two ingredient <clears throat> dough. Okay. Alright guys. Hello! Right. Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome to Living on a Dime. I'm Tara, the author of the Tiny on a Dime cookbook. And today we're making two ingredient dough on page 102. And hopefully I can do it correctly. Um, All right. Pause. Uh, the show is dropping a bit right now. Hang on. Okay. Don't do anything. Just smile to the camera and talk to them real quick. Just smile to the camera. So, All right. So now we're having internet issues. So Carrie said, finally, after years, I found you live. Hello, Carrie. You got a good one, didn't you? And Steven said, your grocery tips saved me $50 for next no. month. Yay! Oh, so I know, do we have a frosting for the cinnamon rolls? I didn't put it in that pose. Uh, it's just buttercream frosting is what I usually make. Uh, it's so. on the, uh, I'm not there at the moment, but on our website, livingondime.com, if you type in buttercream. Okay, hold on. We're having um, a, it's a few background difficulties, so just a moment. Is it buffering at all? It's snowing. I... We, should, we should ask him if it's okay. buffering at all. Okay, are because... we having issues, guys? Let me know if we're having issues. Just concerned because the stream quality keeps on going really Toby well. says, you've got this girl. <laughs> you see the snow. I see the snow. It's blizzarding, isn't it? All right. Let's hope BJ and Ellie can make it home from work. Yeah. No buffering. All right. No buffering. All right. All right. Let's just try it. Okay. <laughs> let's try this. Actually, I'm almost afraid to do this now. You want me to do it? Okay. Here we go again. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook. Today we are making two ingredient dough on page 102 in our volume two. On sale, 25% off now at livingonadime.com. Okay, so we're going to make our simple two ingredient dough recipe today. I am going to make a few little non-pizza, uh, maybe cinnamon rolls, we'll see. So for those of you who missed the big yeah. startup, the early show, yeah. we're using self-rising flour and yogurt. Now, if you don't have self-rising flour, you can add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and what? You said one and a half, but then you put three of those in. I know, because I doubled the recipe. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> and um, a half a teaspoon of salt per cup of flour, okay? Then we're gonna whisk that all together. Now this is if you don't have self-rising flour. If you have self-rising flour, that's fine. Now, self-rising flour is a huge waste of money. It's like three to four times the cost of regular flour to just put a couple of literally five cent ingredients in. So, I never, ever, ever buy self-rising flour. But if you want to, you go right ahead, that's fine. But just know that you can make it homemade a whole lot cheaper, okay? All right, and I don't know if we're gonna have enough yogurt, but we're gonna just give it a go here, okay? I can grab the strawberry yogurt out of there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we are right at two cups, which I'm doubling the recipe, okay? All righty, now we're getting it stirred in. Nice and smooth is what you want. Okay, and then we're going to need the dough. Steven says you sometimes pay more for convenience. Yes, Steven, you do pay more for convenience, and that's exactly what. But I mean, 
my goodness, it literally takes five seconds to throw in baking powder and salt. So why would you pay that much more for convenience, you know? And if you're just joining us, we're making easy two ingredient dough recipes from Dining on a Dime Cookbook Volume 2. Yes. Great questions about that. Yes. All right, now, because I didn't use the Greek yogurt because I messed up the first, first bas batch, for those of you who are uh, watching this later, I totally messed up my first batch by miscounting. And so I'm using regular yogurt instead of Greek because I ran out of Greek, but that's okay. We adapt and overcome around here. That's our motto. Now, you want it to be nice and smooth dough. You don't want it to be too sticky. Now, this is a very versatile dough. You can use it to make pizza and cinnamon rolls and breadsticks, non bread, which Mike loves. Mm hmm. All right, now, can you see how that's getting nice and smooth? All righty. There we go. Now, let me rinse off my hands. <clears throat> okay. Now, you are going to treat this like any other recipe when you make these things okay guys it's just your basic pizza dough your basic breadsticks and all of that okay so we're gonna take now I'm just doing like one or two of each each item because I didn't want to make a full batch of pizza and breadsticks and a full batch of Cinnamon rolls. Um, if you make pizza, you should use these because they taste the best. Or if you want to stick to those. Are you are you, you giving can, your preference yeah. for pizza? You can also roll these up inside bread and then cook it for some cheese sticks. Oh, that's uh, a great idea, Dave. He's talking about the cheese sticks. We should do that. They actually showed us. That's a good idea. All right. Now, parchment paper, guys. Always reuse parchment paper if you can. I made cookies on these before, but it's not really that um, dirty. So I'm reusing the parchment paper, okay? And I'm gonna make two little pizzas here, and then we're gonna do bread sticks and all that. Now, you can just roll this out with a rolling pin if you want but I didn't feel like dirtying the rolling pan for too many pizzas. Now this is kind of hard because I don't have enough space. We need a, we need a studio, but that's okay. All right, now. A lot of people saying great idea, Dave. Yeah, you have to make at least one cheese stick. I will make one cheese stick. Okay, so for your pizzas, we've got our pizza here. Ooh. And then our pizza sauce. Mm, no. Okay. Spread around all of my pizza sauce here. Then, if you want to put pepperoni or do a pesto, you could do a pesto sauce instead of a, a marinara sauce with pesto and chicken and mozzarella or feta, anything like that. You could do barbecue sauce with chicken and have a barbecue sausage. pizza. You could do sausage. You could do bacon. You could do bacon. That would be yummy. Or now, chicken. if you're out of shredded mozzarella, this is another tip. Take mozzarella sticks. Now, a lot of people um, say, well, Tara 
you're always out of stuff. Well, yeah, I am. But here's the thing, guys. Part of why I show you on the show, and I don't make a special trip into town to get something, is because I want to show you how to make do with what you have. So, um, if you have, uh, whatever these things are called, cheese sticks, oops, except my hands are gooey now and I can't get it open. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Do you want me to open those? I've got dry fingers. Uh, there are some days, oops. Stacy says, don't forget the Italian seasoning and garlic. Yeah, this one already has all that in it, so that's why I didn't. But if you want, you can. Okay, thank you. Go ahead and open the other one while we're waiting. Okay. So then, let's put all of these in. Just like so. All right. Now we've got our two pizzas. Now, Dave wants me to make him a cheese stick. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, it's just a bread stick. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your dough. Now, to make a regular bread stick, exactly just roll it out. Well, do you wanna come demonstrate, um, Dave? I don't, I don't wanna demonstrate. I see, okay. But, so, to make a regular bread stick, you're just gonna roll it out about half the thickness that you want it to be because it's going to raise, okay? And it'll rise when the baking powder is activated. Okay, so to make a regular breadstick, you're going to brush this with melted butter and then sprinkle it with whatever seasoning you want. Italian seasoning, everything bagel seasoning, pizza seasoning, anything you want, okay? But to make it a pizza, or I mean to make it a cheese, um, to make it a cheese stick, you're gonna push it out a little bit further. Let's see, will my cheese stick fit in there? I think. Nope, not quite yet. So we're rolling it out. Can you guys see what a nice disaster I'm making here? <laughs> okay. Fine. Get it all out. Then you're gonna roll your cheese in your dough, just like so, and pull the ends together, just like, whoops, just like so. Okay, whoops, there we go. Now it's kind of a sloppy one. All right, you know, Ooh, it's amazing we've sold 500,000 uh, books. That looks like it'll be good. Fork and poke <clears throat> holes, so, so Dave, my instructor says I need to take a fork. Oh, I think you need to take a fork and poke, and a poke it so that it doesn't explode. Because yeah, it'll explode and then all the cheese will go everywhere. Okay, we're gonna get these, throw it in the oven. There we go. Now, next. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, you guys should see what's happening outside. We're getting all kinds of snow. Like wow, this. can you point the camera outside, Dave? I don't know if it'll. Will it show or is it too white? <laughs> no, it's not white. Well, it's kind of. You can kind of see it. It looks wow, like it's dust really snowing, snowing guys. guys. Here, wait, hang on. Let me do the the, the zoomy zoom. Hey, Dad, smile. You can kind of see. That's all snow out there. It's super dense. <laughs> it just started like five minutes ago. Well, I didn't think we were expecting snow. Passion fruit and hyacinth. Passion fruit. Ooh. All and, right. And that says I'm making this recipe for tomorrow night's dinner. Well, I certainly hope you make it better than I did. <laughs> no, no, it'll still taste good. Okay. You're doing fine, woman. Now for your, uh, for your non bread. Okay. Yes, my favorite one, the non. 
Do you need me to cook it? No. Mary wants to know if this recipe would work with gluten-free flour, do you think? No. Okay. Yeah. Don't even try it with gluten-free flour. It's not worth it. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't work. So, sorry. I know that's discouraging, but gluten-free baking is very particular. And you have to be super precise, let's say, with gluten-free baking, okay? Because if you aren't, then it just does not turn out right, okay? All right, so now I'm adding my oil to my non, to my two ingredient dough to make my non bread. So Stacy's wondering, would the cheese ooze out since you poked it? Probably not on the top. It shouldn't. Yeah, it'll ooze out if you don't seal it, and I may not have gotten the bottom sealed enough, but that's okay. All right. You didn't think to poke the holes very big, so it shouldn't be able to. All right, so now, just get this so it's just a little bit. Patty says it's almost a whiteout in Longmont. Wow, Patty, seriously? BJ's in Lakewood training for his new job today, so I hope he can make it back. He always stops at our house before he goes home. Isn't that great, honey? Yes. That our children want to be around us. We're so glad you guys want to be around us. Uh, hey, I'm late to <laughs> joining the show. Is this recipe in the book? Yes, all of these recipes are in Dining on a Dime Volume 2 yes. under the two ingredient recipes yes. section. Okay, now for your non bread, you want to roll it out pretty thin. So I'll probably go ahead and roll this one. I forgot I was. I forgot I was doing this uh, this one also, so I should have just got the rolling pin out. All right, I'm just gonna roll it thin. Christine is wondering if it would have a sour taste with the cream in it. No, it does not. So the yogurt, the yogurt is helps. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you should have seen what I did at the first of the show, Ellie. You would be like. <laughs> okay. So for your non bread, you want it rolled out really thin, okay? All right. Um, yeah. Then, whoops, I forgot my oil. All right. Then you're going to put a little bit of oil in your pan. So butter is a good substitute? Yes. You can use olive oil, most people do, and that's fine. And then you're gonna put it in your pan. Okay? All right, we're gonna let that cook for just a minute. All right, let me zoom out. Boop. Then, as soon as it starts to bubble and turn brown on the bottom, we're gonna flip it over, okay? Next, cheddar biscuits. So you're gonna take your two ingredient dough and you're gonna add in your cheddar cheese, however much you want. My kids and husband like garlic. Oops, I already got it out. So I add garlic in the dough also, but the way the recipe says to do it is to melt the butter and put the garlic on afterwards, but we do both because they really like garlic. garlic. Is this the rolling thing that you just used? Yeah. A lot of people commenting on how much they love it. Oh, thank you. It's my grandma's. <gasps> so we don't know where to buy one then. Oh, well, you can go look on Amazon, probably has them. Uh, That's actually it, They're from the probably 70s. Holy cow, it is a white out here now, Patty. Yeah, we're getting Oh man, I really hope BJ can make it. <laughs> I stood outside for a second. I got completely soaked. Oh. Is he okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Now we have the cheese kneaded into the dough. We're going to divide it into small rolls. 
whatever size you want. See, okay? Okay. All right. There's, I don't know, about the right size. Oh, I forgot my bread. Okay. We're going to flip. Ooh, perfection. Oh, she's flipping the bread in the pan. Perfection. I hope this weather stays up all night. Why do you hope this weather stays up all night? I love whiteout blizzards. You hey guys, whiteout blizzards. I found I found a rolling pin like that, and I'm just sharing a link here if you want to go take a look at it. So they still make them apparently. It's like eight dollars at Amazon. Oh yeah, that's that's all right. Okay, so then we're gonna take and roll our little rolls here. And just roll them up, seam side down. Just like so. You about your price tag. What price? Oh, no. price tag? <laughs> I didn't know I had a price tag. Okay. All right. There we go. Hey, I keep it on. Kimberly, oh. Okay, and then we're gonna bake these. Yum, those look really good. All right. Ooh, there's gonna be some awesome food happening here tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Kimberly wants to know, is ghee just clarified butter? Yes. Ghee and clarified butter are the same thing. Okay. Uh, and Jessica was wondering in the recipe, can you use it instead of butter? Yes, you can. Yes. Okay, so because I cannot stand to see things go away, we're going to see if we can resurrect this here. Let me check my pizzas. Could we just okay. make a big dough? Not quite done yet. Or a big brown, brown bread is what it's called, I think. Uh... Okay, so. Let, what in the world? Oh dear. This dough was not meant to be. <laughs> I just wiped pizza sauce all in the dough. <laughs> okay. Just adds a little flavor. It just adds flavor. Yeah, it'll oh make those cinnamon rolls taste great. Delicious. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to resurrect the dough here. Can you make it into a round bread? Yes, I could actually. Plop it. Easy bread. Yep, I could. <laughs> Let's just see what we can come up with. Do we have any comments or questions while we see if Tara can save her dough? Um, Stacy, you're all awesome for sharing these helpful recipes, especially easy and frugal. Uh, people I wanted to know, I think we've had this question before, but do we have any ideas of what to substitute for cinnamon if you can't eat cinnamon? I have no idea. Is nutmeg? No? No. Mm -mm. no? Oh, okay. I don't know. That's something you'll just have to Google. I'm sorry. I have no idea. That's one food allergy that I don't have, thankfully. So we are getting a lot of questions. Uh, I have your 20th anniversary cookbook and really like it. Are these recipes in this cookbook? They're not in the 20th anniversary. Uh, the 20th anniversary book and volume one are the same book. Volume but two these are from new. volume two, which is a brand new book. Yep. So... I'm also sharing the recipes for this stuff in the description, or in the, uh, they're in the description and I'm sharing them in the comments. Yep. All right. Now, what you can do is just make regular biscuits out of this too, guys. Um, just roll it out and make biscuits, which is probably what I'll do with the majority of it. <clears throat> okay. So Christine wants to know, can you keep the dough, this dough for a few days in the fridge? Well, so that's the bad news. No, you can't. What? Oh. Burner bread, because I forgot it. Well, the burner's off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yum. Here's the naan. Yeah, Dave, yeah. can you grab me a plate? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hold tight. Um. Mike, check the skillet. <laughs> Actually, I looked back there, but the, the burner was actually off, so I don't think it would have gone yeah. too far beyond. Can I try some? Okay, or are we taking yeah, a picture? you can try some. What even is naan bread? 
It's, it's, it's an Indian it's bread Indian that you bread. eat with Indian food. Like curries like, and stuff. Like India Indian, not American Indian. Hmm. Oh, like, is it anything important? Like, <laughs> is, like, is, it, anything? is it some traditional? Yeah, it's like traditional Indian bread oh. from India. Oh, I thought it just... So when Ellie and I were in Ireland and we went to an Indian restaurant for the first time <laughs> in Coleraine, <laughs> uh, we good. ate Indian food and it was awesome and naan was one of the sides that you could get. Yeah. And then, then when we went to Glasgow and we ate the, at the Indian restaurant, <laughs> it was the same thing. <laughs> they about had their taste buds burned off. It was delish. The manager was really impressed that I was able to eat it at full strength. <laughs> so I... Your eyes were probably watering the whole time, right? No. Oh. Okay. Abel said, just bought the roller. Oh. She really oh. loves this one. Although this yeah. one, you said, was your great grandmother's? This is no, my grandma's. Mm. Grandma Tato's. Oh, okay. All right. Now we're going to get our butter on. Oh, is it Turin's birthday? <gasps> Happy birthday, Turin! Oh, uh, she's so faithful to us. We love yeah. you. <laughs> is this more naan bread? Or is this, this is going to be cinnamon rolls. Oh, Turin says she's going to be 25 again this year. <laughs> oh, good for you! <laughs> <laughs> all right, get your butter all around. Now, this is leftover monkey bread sugar that I made monkey bread for a video this morning and I'm just gonna use all the rest of that sugar for my cinnamon rolls okay and I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more okay just a little bit more sugar now we're going to roll this up. Do, 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 do. Chop it up. Just like so. All right. Just in time, let me show you. Oh my goodness, it's a blizzard. Oh my goodness, the house is just getting <clears throat> harder and harder to see out the back window. <laughs> okay. I'm glad BJ has an electric car with all those batteries to keep him on the road. <laughs> and I hope no one smashes into him. If you don't know what she's talking about, the electric cars are a lot heavier because of the batteries. Yep. So. Oops. <gasps> no, did the cheese explode anyways? Okay, well, there's the pizzas. And the cheese stick is going about the same way as <laughs> Stacy was right. <laughs> <laughs> no, what happened was I didn't get the bottom sealed. Oh, yeah. And actually, I kind of knew I didn't get the bottom sealed, but because it was so... <sighs> well, you get the point. You know how to do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just... Yeah. Okay, now we're making Pizza. Pizza. cinnamon rolls. Pizza is almost done. They're cutting up the cinnamon rolls. Okay. Now, I would probably put the cinnamon rolls, well, maybe I should. Okay, excuse me. In a little pan, okay? Yeah, a little circle pan. I don't know what you call it. Okay, just like so, and put them in just like so. <laughs> Ooh, yum. Cinnamon rolls okay. are tart, especially. Now, I have to wait until I can turn the oven down to put these in. So I have to wait for the other ones to cook first, okay? Otherwise, Black, dark pans will burn if your heat is um, too high. So turn it down 25 degrees when you cook anything with 
a dark pan, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm just gonna make the rest of these into biscuits, so you guys. Wait, no, can you make a big? What do you want? A big blob of bread. A big blob of bread? The big, the big circle bread. Yeah, do you want a big circle bread? Oh well, yeah. Okay, just a well, second. I mean, I mean, it's up to you, but. Yeah. Well, I can, do Tammy you want a big circle bread? Tammy says you're a great bread? cook as usual, cousin. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Tam. <laughs> Just about two more minutes on my dinner, on my rolls, on my garlic cheddar rolls. Okay. Okay. Dave wants an artisan bread, so I will make this half into artisan bread and half into biscuits. Artisan bread. Uh, just confirming because there are still more questions. Well, maybe uh, I'll just make it both into artisan bread. What? Kimberly said you said that this, the dough does not save, correct? You have to oh, I'm it sorry. You made it. Okay, so baking yeast, if you have yeast as the leavening agent, that means it makes it rise. If you have yeast in your dough, that can stay in the refrigerator. If you have baking powder, which is what this has, it will not. Baking powder will go flat. So that's why when you make cakes, you have to put your cake in the oven right away or the baking powder will not activate, it'll die, and then you won't be able to have a fluffy cake, okay? All right, so Dave wants arson bread, so that's what we're going to do because we love, this is We Love Dave Day! Yay! Right. Yep. Or you could make partial into artisan bread and partial into more cheese sticks. <laughs> you can tell I'm really stretching my. I'm really, really trying for the. Okay, let's try an artisan cheese bread for Dave here. Give me more mozzarella sticks. Oh, oh, we're doing cheese bread? Wow. Sure, let's just see what we can come up with here. Hey, I'm just thinking, let's just go funnel fit if you have extra dough. And actually, since the yogurt would stay longer, rather than just rather than making the dough and saving it, you could just keep the yogurt longer and then yes. just throw it together really fast. Well, that's the beauty of this dough, is when I'm not make, trying to make five different things at once, Thanks, it's super, super easy. And just so you guys know, later I'm going to be doing a video where I actually do it right. All right, open them up, Dave. Oh, oh, oh. And, uh... These might be better to chop them. Then... Okay, now, here is, mm, you well, know, hold on, they're not quite done yet. Just a minute. The cheddar biscuits need just a minute more. I think you already showed the pan probably, but Michelle Sunshine Star was wondering what kind of pan do you use for cinnamon rolls? Just like any round, pan? just any round cake pan is fine. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything exciting. Just, I don't know, Dave, four, five, six, eight, ten. Ten. Okay. So what we're going to do is make a cheese loaf here. This is, this is Tara inventing a recipe as we go along. See, exactly. This is fun. This is exciting. Why not? We'll do recipe testing we're while we're at it. Brand new food. So Ron okay. is asking if the dough Maybe rises more. then. I don't know if The dough, it's... yes, it does rise. Baking powder just rises more? differently no. than yeast. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Was okay. Good. Well, let's try. Oh, well, though, because then it'll be like the rare treat inside of... Then it'll be... Ooh, do I get a piece of cheese or do I not? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's try... Seal it in there. Seal and roll it up. Okay. Oh, my goodness, it's a long cheese. <laughs> hey, you wanted a... Cheese stick, Dave, and your mom is going to deliver because your mom loves you. Don't forget to make sure this one's sealed on the bottom. All right, now seal it up. Jonathan super chatted $10 for Bibles. Aw, thanks, Jonathan, for super chatting $10 for Bibles. If you guys need a Bible, we give them away for free and easy to read version. <laughs> he says he is asking for prayers for school. Uh oh. How did your test go last week? Don't um, worry, Jonathan. I'm in the same boat. Yeah, Dave's in the same boat. He's 
Accounting is horrible. <laughs> accounting is horrible. Never think accounting. Okay. So there's one cheese stick for Dave. And all right, grab a grab oh. a plate. There's the pizzas, guys. One pizza. And there's the mozzarella sticks. Ooh. Two pizzas. And then, the, and then here the is the chat sad cheese stick. Who wants the sad cheese stick? I'll take you? it. Okay. Whoa. Careful, Ooh. it's hot. Oh, 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 All right, now we're going to stick Ooh. this. And then we're going to stick these in the oven. Mm. I didn't get myself as a cheese stick. Should have gotten, should have gotten more of tasting it. The sad cheese stick is oh, amazing. Sad. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the camera's not up on you. I was too busy. Getting plates. All right. Get stuff in the oven. Yeah. And that's how you make two ingredient dough. What a perfect, lovely show. <laughs> you were a little job. bit quiet there, my woman. We survived. Mm. Mm. Is it delicious? It is delicious. Uh, so Shelly, the, the recipes are in Dining on a Dime version uh, volume two. And I'm also sharing them in the, they're in the description below. On Facebook, uh, are they going to be in the comments? Yes, they will be in the comments on YouTube and Facebook. Uh oh, Tammy says she still doesn't have a dining volume too. <gasps> oh, I thought I sent it to you. <laughs> okay, I'll send it to you. Do you still live in the same place? <laughs> Judy says that she teaches high school accounting and would be happy to help you. That says I hated taking accounting. You know, it's just math in general. I don't like math. <laughs> it's not necessarily that it's specifically accounting. It's just... On Facebook, she, she offered you a... Uh, if you want to contact her, that you can do Zoom or email if you have any questions. Oh, cool. Ooh, that's you should... nice. nice. Thank you, Judy. That's very nice. I think you should take her up on that. I think part of the problem that he was running into was, at least when he showed me one of the times when he was having problems, is having trouble identifying which things, when they ask you to come up with a conclusion, uh, which things, I think they were mixing. They have like 20 items, but you only have 30. They were missing um, income and expenses and assets and liabilities all together and throwing all kinds of numbers at you that were irrelevant for answering the specific question. I think that's where he was really getting into trouble. Barbara, Tara must be really exhausted at the end of a day. From all that stuff, probably. <laughs> yeah. My problem is I hate to sit down. Now, to my defense, I sat down all day yesterday, but, oops. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You want me to clean it while you talk? That's all right. Um, to my defense, thank you, dear. Yesterday, I did sit for 12 hours. It's okay, I'll get it. You can check comments. Um, I ended up watching 11 hours of a 12-hour live stream on how to build your YouTube channel, and it was very informative. Whew. Man. But it was 12 hours, so she was completely exhausted by the end of but the day. I was sitting in the recliner for 12 hours and uh or 11 hours and it was really good though i was glad that i joined it because um we need help our youtube channel needs help so we're like okay Judy, what are I'm, we gonna do i'm gonna share um the i'm gonna share our contact form if you could send it here or you could send it to editor at livingonadime.com um, I can't paste the regular email address into the into the chat, so I'm I'm sharing the link to our contact form, but you can send it to editor at livingonadime.com. Thank you so much. I think that if that I think Dave would really appreciate that. They actually the uh, system that he or the uh, <clears throat> school that he's doing is Lumerit, or it used to be called Lumerit, now it's called something else. And they uh, today when he talked to oh. Was I not supposed to say? No. Oh, sorry. No, nope. they have a student registry. Nope. Uh, they, t 
Today he was talking to his coach, and the coach said, oh, you should never take that class alongside another class. <laughs> so, oops. Yeah, so we're going to be extending it. All right, guys, goatmilkgifts.com. Ellie is reopened again with goat milk cream. You guys have been begging and begging, and we finally were able to get the ingredients to get it back in. 25% off right now. The goat milk cream and soaps. And I have been making some soaps to uh, put in the store because I just like making soap. So I've been doing that just to help Ellie out. This one here is hyacinth. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. Ooh, yes. Love that one. What's hyacinth? It's a spring flower. Is that Ooh. Mrs. Bucket? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Bouquet. Who got that reference? <laughs> I bet Jonathan got that reference. <laughs> it's Bouquet. What are you looking for? for either Ooh, or Mrs. Or Chef Yoda or to or you or says, oh my gosh, look at that soap. This hyacinth. Oh man, it smells really good. I never realized I love hyacinths. And... When we get to the next house, I am going to plant me some hyacinth bulbs, and hopefully the deer won't eat them. How do you smell that? Um, but this one will be ready in four weeks, goatmilkgifts.com. Ellie's going to put it on at the end of the show. She has to take a picture of it, so. 25% um, off, open 25 is a coupon. Oh, yes. Angie says, I can't have yogurt. Do you think sour cream would work for this recipe? You know, I haven't tried it, but it should work. Because the bacteria that uh, cultures yogurt is very similar to the bacteria that cultures sour cream. It's just yogurt is more milk and sour cream is more cream. Oh. So the only thing is you might have to use more sour cream since it's thicker. So, I would give it a try. That's one of those things I might experiment with. What? Is everything all natural? Everything all natural. For what? The soap? The soap. Uh, well, depend. No. No, it's not. Mica isn't really natural. I mean, it's a rock. But um, this is... Wouldn't, I wouldn't call it natural, no. Um, but, I mean... It's perfectly safe. There's what? nothing wrong with it, so. Since it is, since Micah is chips of rock, right? Yeah, well, sort of. So yeah. what would yeah, it, it not be natural about it? Well, it it's the coloring. Oh, okay. But, okay, here's the little gun soaps. I got to realizing it's almost Mother's Day. The <laughs> ladies love the gun soaps last year, or year before last when I did them. Why are you the ladies? <laughs> so, they like the ladies gun soap. So we got a few people that recognized... This is bouquet. Uh, no, it's bouquet. <laughs> Jenny says, and Susan says, my mom is English and we call her Mrs. Bucket and my dad on slow. <laughs> Oops, I turned that one around. Sorry. Dad, do you want a piece of pizza? Uh, sure. You did not, you've done a lot of videos on making soap, but you didn't do one specifically when you made this soap, did you? No. And it's going on my soap channel. Michael put the link up for my soap channel. Ooh. It will go up next week on my soap channel. So for those of you who are interested in watching my soaps, I've started uploading again on my soap channel. Um, uh, and then, uh, did you have a video go out today? Maybe you should put it out at noon tomorrow. So. Oh, noon tomorrow. Okay, so Mike's got a video coming out tomorrow on his Bible study channel. And uh, I have a video coming out on my recipe channel. So check out all our channels, guys. Uh, I, how do we... Can I switch accounts while we're live? I was going to get the link for the soap channel you told me to put on uh, there. Yeah. Actually, I, I forgot I'm not running the show from here. Okay. Uh, um... There's the ladies' gun soap. This is passion fruit, and oh, mm, it smells really good. Um, okay, I want to answer a question real quick that we got today. Two questions. First of all, number one, I got the question: Does Misfit? Oh, what's it called? Oh shoot, it's Misfit something or another, where you get a box of vegetables for cheaper. They're vegetables that aren't perfect. Is that worth it? All right. 
So, I, okay, by the way, first of all, goatmilkgifts.com, guys, if you want any of the soaps or the goat milk cream, goatmilkgifts.com. The sale ends February 28th, 25% off. Open25, goatmilkgifts.com. All right, Misfits box. I can't remember what the name of it is, but anyway. I got the question, is that worth it? Okay, my first initial calculation says it's not worth, it's not worth it at all. But just to be sure and give them a fair shot, I ordered a box today, and so in about 10 days to two weeks, I'm gonna do a review video to see if it actually is a good deal or not, because a lot of these things people say, like uh what's the box foods that people order all the time um hello fresh oh i saved so much money i'm sorry that is the biggest ripoff there is and i don't even have to get one to tell you that's a big ripoff ten dollars a person ten dollars a person for dinner is absolutely ridiculous especially if you have to cook it yourself there's no you way I'm them. paying ten dollars a person to cook it myself i can do five dollars for six people and have be in and out of the kitchen in 20, you know, 20 minutes. So, but I'm going to try the Misfits box of vegetables and see. So in about two weeks, 10 days to two weeks, I'll have a video up on that and see how it goes. The next question is, Tara, can, I, can you tell me, can you do a video on alternate medical insurances we're paying $600 for our family right now, and I just can't find anything cheaper in Michigan. And I'm sorry, I forgot who the name was. But I wrote her back and I said, I'm sorry, but you guys can thank Obama for that one. Um, the Affordable Care Act, there's absolutely nothing affordable about it. As a matter of fact, that whole thing just really chaps my hide. Our... Our insurance went from $350 a month to $1,500 a month with a $1,500, was, yeah, $1,500 per person. Was that what it was? Or was it the $9,000? It was $9,000 per person before Nine, we cover anything. $9,000 per person. So we were paying $1,500 a month, and it wouldn't cover anything until $9,000 per person. In a year. In and a it year. started over again at the $9,000. So we, so I told her, I said, $600 for a family is actually very good. And you should just keep your medical insurance. If you're paying $600, that is really a good deal. Now, if you can afford, if or if you qualify for Medicaid, because that's what the Affordable Care Act is basically, is just, is just uh, funding Medicaid. Go right ahead, but I will tell you, when this first came out, we applied for the tax discount, and they threw us on Medicaid without our permission, and we got stuck with Medicaid, and it was a nightmare. So they sit here and say how all these people are covered, but let me tell you, you can't get medical care, and you can't get help, and you can't get decent medical care. We know it was an absolute nightmare. And so that is why I am 1000% against socialized medicine. Socialized medicine is a huge ripoff and it's, it's horrible medical. Um, and I have heard person after person after person tell their horror stories about friends and families who have died because they're socialized medicine. So. If you're paying $600, I would say that is a really good deal. So I would just go ahead and keep it and stop wasting your time looking. <clears throat> right now we have Liberty Health Share. It's a Christian health sharing organization. But I'll be honest, guys, it's got its problems also. We only pay, only pay $750 or $800 now a month for our family. Like, I think it's like 697 or something okay, like that. Okay, 700 a month. And but they won't pay the medical bills for like 6 months. Mike's knee surgery in November, they they told us they're not going to pay it until like June. That's a different thing. The knee surgery, I I realized because it was going to be $14,000. Oh, I yeah, said, it was the other I thing. I said, uh, is there a way that we could 
we could submit this information to you first and then have you send us this because I just can't shell out $14,000 at once and wait six months for it. And they said, sure. And so they went through a process. Yeah, that was. But, but he had another procedure Yeah. that was $10,000. And we paid that and we're waiting on it. So, um, But we're, no, but you're kind of glossing over this. We're no, waiting gonna... six to seven months. It's been six to seven months is what, when they said they may. They said six months is the maximum. It's right there. And we haven't so, hit six months yet. That's no. Terrible. So six months before they will pay it. I mean, that's, that's a huge chunk of change to be out of. And yeah, we're set to where we can afford to do that at the moment. But, you know, well, most sorta. people, <laughs> well, most people can't. So... Well, what I would say on the health sharing, though, it's a little, it's more of a pain to have to submit the bills and then we have to wait for them. But it's a lot, it's a great improvement because we do actually get reimbursed and there's only $1,500 a year for the whole family as a deductible. And so that, that works out really great. But for expensive things, definitely I've learned my, I learned my lesson from that one that for if it's really expensive to try to arrange it with them ahead of time so that we don't have to be waiting six months to get the big mountain back. I mean, it's absolutely awful. So, yeah. I mean, don't even get me started on the Affordable Care Act. There's nothing affordable about it, and it's nothing but a sham. Makes me so mm, ticked off. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Any other questions? Was there, did you have another question you were going to talk about? Already did. Uh, let's see. People said I drove 11 miles to my old house that I drove 11 miles to my old house to get my dining at a time that accidentally got left behind. Oh! And garlic biscuits. Julie's been binge watching old shows and loves them. Ah, oh, thanks, Julie. Jen says love the decorations. Thanks. I think they're coming down this week, but we thought we'd go one more day. Susan's. Said, I can't wait to try this for cinnamon rolls. Oh, are those done yet? I haven't put them in yet because I have to cook Dave's bread first, so. Oh, okay. Let's see. There were some other questions I thought here. Uh, oh, do you know, Quilteo is asking, how long is yogurt good after the expiration? Oh, before? it's good quite a while. I mean, I've used yogurt. People are going to cringe, but I've used it two and three months afterwards. The thing is, yogurt is just soured milk, basically. And so it just gets more soured. And unless you have mold, it's fine. And in Dining on a Dime Volume 1, we have a recipe on how to make your own homemade yogurt. And so I used to make that all the time. And uh, it's super easy. I mean, it takes like literally two minutes to do. So uh, Crescent was asking earlier, what's the difference between bread flour, self-rising flour, and all-purpose flour? Um, okay, so all-purpose flour is for general use for all the time. Self-rising has baking powder and salt added to it, and um, bread flour has extra gluten added to it, so it's poofier. It gets bigger for bread. Uh, Christy, how about MediShare? MediShare is very similar to what we yeah. have. Well, although our, we just have a different one. Yeah, I don't know how long they take to pay, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't see any new questions. Oh, uh, it's the name of my Bible study channel. It's Christian ABCs, but I don't know if you search that, if you'll find it. So I shared a link in the description. So um, you can click that link to get there. So, yay. And I'm sort of trying to still figure out which direction it's going. <laughs> uh, there are a variety of different kinds of ways I can try to do them. And the one that I was doing for tomorrow's video is taking a very long time. So I might have to sort of change that up a little bit. Well, I looked it up and it came up right away. So, oh, you looked it up by the name and it came up? Yeah. Well, yay. Well, Dave said he looked it up. Cross, right? Yep. Dave said he looked up the name a Christian ABCs and it came up. So, yay. Uh, but but the link is in the description if you can't find it. So let's see. Uh, I think that's all the questions it looks like. All right. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like we did not get finished with our baking, but that's okay. Sorry, guys, for the rough start there. <laughs> 
Holy moly. Oh, good. Yeah. It still tastes good. Yep. It's been a week. Yesterday I had to go to the doctor and then Dave's got to go to the dentist tomorrow and I got to go get blood work done and oh, uh, I'm just going crazy. Oh, Christine, can we put the soap making video link up? Uh, the, the channel, right? That's what you said. Um, let me share it here. And I'm also going to go put it on our show notes where we'll live for a long time. And if you want to go to show notes, you go to livingonadime.com and click on under video. If you hover over videos, then a uh, thing pops down that's our show notes. And I try to put links in there that we want to keep track of. So I'm going to go add that right now. Um, how long until the, so the new soap is ready for four added weeks. to the site? Ellie's going to add it after the show. She has to take pictures, but four weeks is when it will ship. Yeah. Because it has to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that's it for the moment on questions. I'm going to go okay. add your video link here. All right. Oh, actually, I already added it to the show notes. <laughs> okay, so on the show notes page is the how to make soap uh, thing. So if you go to livingonadime.com under videos, click show notes, and you can find Tara's channel there. And actually, all the links that we shared in the show are there. So if you need links to, uh, like, the Bible channel or the your new short recipes channel... Five ingredient recipes is what I, I changed the name because I realized all the recipes that I'm putting on there are five ingredients or less. And so I changed it to five ingredient recipes. Gotcha. So yes, so we will do that. Karen would like to know what kind of sun do tulips need? Full sun, full to partial sun, but full sun is what they like the most. But you have to plant them in the fall. You can't plant them now. You have to plant them in the fall. So Shelly says she hasn't been on for a while and is wondering if we've had any luck finding a new house. We have not. Um, one came up yesterday and we were like, yes, this is it. And then we found out it's basically on the highway. <laughs> so my number one criteria is quiet. I, I'm not going to move unless it's a quiet area, quiet neighborhood. I'll just stay here with the yapping dogs. So... Um, I don't want to listen to the highway all day long. I That would drive me bonkers. So, um... Your mom said BJ passed his test with 100% and they normally don't get test scores that high. Yay! <laughs> so our son is training for a new job. He's going to be an RV salesman today and he, he started today and he is super excited because he can see the big bucks coming. <laughs> <laughs> BJ's the one who's always wanted the big bucks and has worked towards the big bucks, so. Um, oh, Diane. thanks, Diane. Yep, Diane super chatted $10. Here's a little Bible money. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, so if you guys cannot afford a Bible and you would like an easy-to-read large print Bible, we give them away for free if you can't afford them. Livingonadime.com, go to the shop, click on Bibles on the left. If you can't afford them, they're only $9.50. We don't mark up the Bibles at all. That's the shipping included with the Bible. That's our cost only. And, uh, but we give away Bibles. And thank you, everyone. We've been getting your Bible donations. We have been shipping out a lot of Bibles. We had two to Zimbabwe, Australia, Scotland, I'm Nigeria. An, I'm learning a lot about dealing with international, international shipping. shipping to all kinds of unusual yeah. places. <laughs> We're shipping them all over. And so thank you so much for all of you guys who are helping us with that ministry there. Um, yeah. So anyway. All right, guys. Goatmilkgifts.com for the soap and the goat milk cream. 25% off. Goatmilkgifts.com. Use the coupon code on the site. Livingonadime.com for our cookbooks. 25% off right now. So sorry it was such a rough show. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you guys next time. Livingonadime.com. It was actually a good show. Bye, everyone. Bye.